Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading for the dates listed above. Just want to say a quick thank you um, for being here, for liking, sharing and subscribing. Guys, this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just a quick general overview, nothing too heavy for the upcoming week. Um, just to have a look and see what's happening. So Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Let's see what you're coming up as this week, what the theme is for you, Libra. Okay, I feel like this card is speaking to me. Well, all right, interesting. We've got the Priestess of Intuition here. Your intuition could be very, very heightened for you in the upcoming week. Um, you'll be feeling a lot of things, Libra, that you ha perhaps haven't felt um, before on a very strong level here. It's about sensing things, uh, very powerful things that will come to you uh, with the uh, Priestess of Intuition. If you do have an Aquarius around you that you're trying to connect with or trying to feel um, more intuitively uh, or emotionally connected to, there could be a very strong association with this person because of the dates listed here, January 21st, Feb 17th. That does fall under the dates of an Aquarius. Um, but look, it really does point to visionary, um, inspire, um, inspiration, creativity, dreams. Uh, so this is quite... Um, uh, it's 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 a very um, it's a very uh, primitive energy here because you've got the priestess um, Bridget here. Okay, now she is a fiery goddess and she encourages sight. So because you can see the dragon, she's accompanied by a dragon. So she's all fire. She's all might. She's all power. So there could also be a fire sign coming in around you in the upcoming week. Um, now I feel like. Um, What's coming up here for you is that unexplained things are actually going to be explained to you. You might be taking a step forward to fulfilling a dream. Um, it might be learning to trust that inner intuition that you have here. Um, or it might be being more in tune with affirmations, visual, visualizations, and the law of attraction. Okay, You might be using something. Um, you might be using the law of attraction to attract something very important. Um, okay, Something very meaningful around you in the upcoming week here, uh, Libra. But um, it could definitely revolve around a fire sign, okay? A fire sign or a um, or the Aquarius here. A bit of blues here as well, but I think that points more to um, your intuition in the upcoming week ahead. Let's have a look how this applies for you, Libra, in the upcoming week. Wow, okay, two of cups. This is twin flame energy coming through here, Libra. Congratulations. Some of you are connecting on a very deep level here in the upcoming week. Okay, very deep level to someone very significant around you. Could definitely be a twin flame. The two of cups often points to a beautiful romantic union. Um, definitely someone you might be married to, connecting with on a long-term basis here. Um, or you might be feeling like someone around you, okay? There might be intuitive feelings, premonitions, or dreams that this person, it's almost validating that this person is a very... Um, karmic twin flame connection maybe your souls are kindred spirits here okay so maybe you were a part of the one soul once upon a time and in this lifetime you're going to be you're, you're intertwined already the tree of life your destinies with each other and the upcoming week will give you some sort of clarification it could also be meeting a twin flame and if this is the case this person could be you've got a leo here um air energy as well gemini libra aquarius leo um Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Pisces in particular with the fish here. Uh, this person, or, or an Aquarius, as I mentioned, could be the fire sign here as well. Um, that it's almost like you're receiving validation that this person is your twin flame. Um, or you're, you're understanding how they're feeling without them even expressing this to you. And this is very powerful because when we come into a phase um, in our friendships or in our relationships, when we can feel what the other is thinking, you can feel their energy and it's just so groundbreaking. It's such a marvelous discovery. I, I consider it a major milestone in relationships, absolutely. But look, this could also be a collaborative sense here as well. Friendships, it could be a business relationship. Um, you might be meeting someone overseas, okay? Something about a journey happening here. You've got a good feeling about it, Libra, okay? And I definitely believe your intuition is spot on, so it's going to lead you to this collaboration. You might have to commute or travel out to this person. This opportunity may be international, interstate. It could even be a job opportunity here. This could be a face-to-face -face meeting. There could be someone that's placed in your path here from the gods, the universe, uh, someone that's been divinely ushered in your direction to help you along your journey, Libra. So this is very, very auspicious, and you'll feel it on a very 
intuitive um, emotional level here uh, as well. Now, the King of Wands, I often see as a Leo because of the stone lion and the lions in the background here. Um, the King of Wands is a very powerful and influential figure. You might have a fire sign male coming in around you, okay, or a female maybe. This person is very dominant, very athletic, very attractive, very high spirited. They are a born leader. There could be a little bit of ego involved with this person here, but they're coming in around you, okay? There's a very strong attraction. But the King of Wands is also a doer, okay? He's a mover, he's a shaker, he's a bit of a firecracker. Anything he sees or he plans for, he ends up achieving because of intuitive action, okay? But this can definitely speak of management, leadership, perhaps you coming into leadership or a role um, where you're taking more authority, okay? You're taking more of a step here, Libra. You are taking more initiative than you're used to. Taking initiative to move ahead with a journey, to leave something behind, to meet this person, to connect with them on a very deep and spiritual level here. But there's fire around you. You're all motivated. You're ready to go, Libra. Something big could be happening here. But look, the King of Wands is seen as um, someone that can't really sit still, okay? Very focused, extremely goal oriented and likes to move around. This could speak of a trip here for some of you. The upcoming week could see travel plans to meet someone you've been talking to online, to meet someone that you've been discussing business plans with, to meet someone uh, because of common interests, spiritual groups, community groups, uh, activities as well. And it could connect you to people, but it'll also get you moving, okay? It's going to distract you from something. I feel like there might have been something around you that has been distracting you from the most part, that has been dampening you a little bit here, Libra, and I think you're coming out of this. I can see it with the Six of Swords. You are the Swords. Um, you're coming up as very emotional, very intuitive, okay? You've got this powerful energy around you here. But for those that are moving away from the Dark Ravens, this will be a very successful transition or journey. Those that are trying to remove themselves from a toxic situation, some of you will be turning your back on a, a very beautiful connection here because this connection, you feel you've, you've, you've achieved what you needed to achieve. You've learned the lessons you've learned. They might have been very harsh lessons, Libra. They might have been very, um, very pivotal lessons. Um, there might have been a lot of loss associated with this. If this could have been a collaboration and it didn't work for you, a friendship, a business thing, a client business relationship here. It didn't work in your favor and some of you were turning your back on it, okay? You feel it's time to move on. You feel you're ready to fly. You're ready to spread your wings. You might have been stuck in a certain situation here, tied down to dark energy, to um, negativity, to people that have been constantly on your back, people that have been trying to, you know, ganging up on you. Whatever this is, Libra, it's been unjust, unfair, and you're actually ready to leave behind that situation. I do see a lot of you moving ahead, um, and I love it. I think it's very positive. It can speak to internal growth self-empowerment, self-regeneration here as well. So that's very exciting. I think it could be quite a momentous week for you. For others, of course, the Six of Swords could point to a spiritual journey, um, becoming more in tune with intuition, moving away from anxiety, okay? Very nicely, beautiful transition here, okay? Being lifted on someone's wing here. You might have someone's support, okay? Could be another air sign, a Libra, an Aquarius or a Gemini. This person might be helping you in some way, might be helping you um, get get you away from something toxic or get you away from something that isn't, isn't for you, okay? But I do see some of you undergoing heartbreak, possibly. You feel it on some level that this has to happen and you're moving away from that, okay? But it could be a journey, travel, um, exploring different locations, not being tied down to something, not feeling restricted, okay? Not feeling like you're surrounded by things that no longer entertain you or support your interests or people that even have your best interest at heart. And you're moving away from this in a very beautiful way because that high priestess energy, which I feel like you're, um, you've got here with um, 
this priestess here, it's all about fire and it's just, it's it's all or nothing and it's going to come to a point where you'll make this very important decision that will lead you on a new journey, on a new path. So very nice transition here, Libra. I will leave it at that though. I just want to thank you for joining me and watching the video. Don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Uh, that'll be very much appreciated. Thank you for connecting. Have a fantastic week, Libra, and we shall be speaking next weekend. Thanks again and bye for now.